what is up and welcome back everybody so unfortunately i think i came back at the wrong time it is still over 110 degrees every day since i've been back it's honestly a little bit of a pain in the butt i'm sweating like crazy out here somebody get me a fan get me something this is getting ridiculous but no on on the real i have been busting my butt Obviously, you guys saw in the last video, and again, if you didn't, make sure you guys go and uh, hit that notification button, like, and subscribe all the videos so you guys don't miss anything. But we did pull the engine out of the Sportline LE. We do have the new one all cleaned up. We have it ready to go. I slapped a new rear main seal on it. I replaced the front crank seal. Obviously, all just the normal stuff because obviously the engine's already out, and it's easy to do all that stuff right away. I did record picking the engine up and putting it in and doing all that stuff and you know just kind of putting it back together unfortunately because it has been so hot out here i think today is like 115 already like i said guys it's getting ridiculous i think i came back too soon from vacation but it said my phone overheated and it stopped recording and not only did it stop recording apparently it didn't even start recording so i do have about a two minute clip, I'll obviously go ahead and share with you guys, show you guys exactly what we did. I'll throw some pictures in here so that way you guys aren't kind of missing anything. And then uh, we'll do a little bit of a walk around of the car. I'll show you how ridiculously amazing and clean and just immaculate this car is. And I do actually have somebody that's interested in coming and getting it. So I guess we'll kind of go from there and see what happens. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, I apologize there's not more content to it. We clearly just need to wait until it cools down a little bit. Look at this. I'm not even in the sun. Oh, my goodness. And my cheeks are all puffy and red. I'm getting sunburned, and I'm not even in the sun. I'm in the shade. I'm in the shade, guys. It's getting ridiculous. But, yeah, let's go ahead and go inside of this shop really quick so I can show you guys everything that we've been doing. All right. So, as you guys can see, we have... Our alternator wire is hooked up. We do not have smog pump stuff anymore. We removed that because this engine is the good engine, in my opinion. We have our clutch fan on. We have our new belt on. Good radiator hoses. Everything is connected. I showed you guys underneath the air box. Everything is hooked up. Now we have the air box on officially. We have our, I guess, snorkel hooked up. So that is also going to be good. Uh, the last stuff that we have to do is probably the biggest pain in the butt. I do need to go back under the car, hook up all the transmission stuff, hook up my drive shaft, the exhaust, and all that good and dandy stuff. And then I did clean my ground wire, because if you guys don't remember, that thing was black and dirty as can be. So now that stuff is good and done. Everything at the top of the motor should be perfect i already put new oil in it we already have a new oil filter hooked up i only put a little bit of coolant as you guys can see just a little bit of it i do need to add some more but obviously i need to bleed the system so with that being said everything should be good our transmission line or our transmission oil cooler our ac stuff right here and under the car is hooked up. I'm not going to be able to do AC on this car because obviously I don't have the machine to pump it all up and do all that. So I am going to have to take that in or whoever buys it if I sell it a lot sooner than I anticipate. They're unfortunately going to have to do that. But it's not really that big of a deal. Um, what else? Everything. Everything, guys. It's all hooked up and ready to go. But yeah, so let's go ahead and climb up underneath this car really fast and get that done. All right, guys, I apologize if I look a little rough and I'm a little out of breath. This heat is draining. It's, it's getting a little ridiculous. Look, my face is all shiny and everything. Look at this, it's ridiculous. But seriously, as you guys can see, the car is no longer in the shop. We have officially finished it. I put about 100 miles on the car. Um, I apologize, I keep trying to record, but it keeps saying uh, overheating. That's why I'm trying to just do these little fast videos for you guys. I'm going to go ahead and show you uh, what the car looks like right now. And I do have somebody that's actually interested in it, which I think is really cool already. So hopefully he gets it, fingers crossed, because we do need to fund another project that is very, very big that I think you guys are absolutely going to love. So make sure you hit that notification 
like and subscribe because you guys definitely don't want to miss this one. It's definitely going to be one of a kind, one of one, just wild, wild thing. Trust me, you guys do not want to miss it. But let me go and show you this car really quick. And then um, I guess that kind of ends this build series until it cools down a little bit because this heat is getting bad, man. <laughs> At least for me. At least for me. So let me go and show you.